Hey, this is Maggie. It's day seven of the Common Commitments Bonner video trip. And today we are in Princeton, New Jersey. We are about to head into the center of it all in Princeton, New Jersey at the Bonner Foundation to meet and talk with Wayne Meisel. Good morning. Hello. It's very early. There's Chi Chi up there. We're hurrying a little bit because we ran into a little bit of traffic on the way here. And there it is. Ah! Gorgeous. Oh, there he is. There you have it, the Corella and Bertram F. Bonner Foundation Incorporated. And here's a lovely view of Princeton. So there's the traffic. Blech. <laughs> this is the first morning where you can see your breath again. We are reminded that it is January. It's been so gorgeous. Okay, here we go into the bonnet. So many bonners, it's so crazy to be here. You get to see the history of the program, really. Everybody's pretty thinking nationally. Oh, here's yet another one. Another map. Diary time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably a good thing to Yeah, it's been good because it gives us a chance to reflect on our experiences. So yeah, it's good. You guys can watch them actually. We can. Yeah, this is Bonner. This is Bonner. This is Had. Um, she, and it's pretty much sacrosanct. Like it hasn't really changed. Um, so board members meet here. Um, but this is where Mrs. Bonner worked. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is there a picture of Mrs. Bonner somewhere? Well, there's a lot. Actually, here, actually, I think it's a lovely picture of Mrs. Bonner. Excellent. Yeah, but even in the kitchen, you'll see all over, we have kind of little pictures of Mrs. Bonner. And if you look a lot along the walls, there's always these honorary doctorates <laughs> Mrs. Bonner. So you, you see her name and her image um, all over the place, which is neat. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So there's the basement. But you don't have to go down there. No, I wouldn't go down there. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but Abby might want you to. <laughs> but you don't have to. Cool. There's Maryland. Maryland welcomes you. And we just passed the Mason-Dixon line and we missed the sign. But yay! It was a very dinky sign. Please buckle up. We are now in Maryland. Yay! One more day. We are in one mile. We are going to pass Flintstone. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. They're the modern Stonehenge family. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. Let's ride with the family down the street. And let's go and have a bite to eat when you're with the Flintstones. The yabba dabba do time. We'll have a do time. We'll have a gay old time. Yay, Flintstone! And now we are passing through Flintstone for real. in traffic in a random place in West Virginia. 
We are no longer going to West Virginia Wesleyan because we're really behind schedule and they had a tour plan for us and we can't make it in time. So we are waiting for oversized loads to come. And the first one was escorted by, what was it, Jerome? Hillbilly first, Express? No, that was the second one. <laughs> and then the third one was escorted by... Jelly Bean Pilot Escort. Ooh, that was Jelly Bean Pilot Escort. And then the one before that was Gaylord something yeah. Escort. Interesting names for um, oversized load escorts. But, you know, we're... In what a, can you say in West Virginia? E what, what can you say in <laughs> Cheat Landing, as for West Virginia? Are we really in we're, Cheat? We're really we're in Cheat, cheat Landing. Oh, it's Cheat We're Landing? Cheat, cheat Landing, because that church we passed was Cheat Landing Church. Oh, we're wow. Cheat Lake. Well, we're, even though we aren't going to West Virginia Wesleyan, which is a disappointment, we're actually kind of happy because we're all really tired. Exactly. Now we can go to Waynesburg early and charge my iPod and charge our cameras because we talked to Wayne for a really long time and maybe take a little nap, and that would be wonderful. So, yay! Uh, uh, here we're back in Pennsylvania. Woo! Last day before Ohio. Woo! State of Independence. Yes. How do you think that's affected your learning, putting service into um, your experience at Waynesburg College? I think of everything I've learned over these past few years, and most of it comes outside of the classroom. Uh, I think the experiences I have at my service site with the people I'm serving with, the people I'm serving, and the people I'm serving under. <laughs> Friend of mine, let me show you. How the days in between. 